Hi, I'm Anastasia and I'm a customer support engineer here at WildMe. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to review matches. If you're working with a bulk import, your match results are in this match results by class column here on the right. If you're uploading your encounters one by one, you can find your matches in the encounter page, which is under uh, my data, view my encounters in Flukebook, but in other wild books, it will be under the encounter menu, view my submissions. Um, after you open an encounter here, you would click on this menu and then select match results. From the bulk import page, you would just click on your link under match results my class to be taken to the same page. All right, our match results here have loaded. Um, this first set of numbers is the ranking and the following set of numbers over here are your match scores. The higher the score, the higher the likelihood of a match. What the score represents is slightly different for each algorithm and will vary from one trained instance of the algorithm to another trained instance. We'd recommend focusing on the ranking instead of the match score. If one of the candidates was a previously identified individual, which we refer to as a marked individual, you'll see its name after the match scores. As you can see here, there aren't any names, which means that the match candidates haven't yet been assigned as an individual. This inspect button will show you a graph of what the algorithm saw in order to determine a match. And you can also click the space here, this blank space, to take to be taken to the encounter that the candidate image came from. I'm not going to do that here just because it's going to take me out of the, uh, the match page and I don't want to wait for it to load again. Up here we have individual scores and image scores. By default, we display individual scores, which computes one match score for every individual in the database. This is the aggregate of each image score for that individual. The image score, I'll load that for a second here, that computes the match score for every annotation in the database when compared to the query annotation. All right, let me go back to my individual score page. By default, we display a top 12 list of candidates, but you can update that manually in the num results field if you want to see a broader range. I don't think this is going to show me more just because it's only giving me four potential candidates, but we'll take a look. Yep, don't have any more, but if there were, <laughs> It would show me a list of 25 um, in case I, I wanted to compare uh, a broader set of individuals. All right, so now finally taking a look at our match results in depth. Our first one, we've got some hot spotter results. Looks like uh, this first candidate is actually pretty good. Um, I believe these to be the same individual. Yeah, no, not so much these other candidates. So I can actually click on this checkbox here. And then up here, uh, I can assign it an ID or give it a name for the sake of this example. We'll give it a name and set the individual in both encounters. Now I can see the name appear here. opening the encounter real quick. You could also choose to set your individual's identity from the encounter page. You would just scroll down to the identity field, click the edit button. And we'll go ahead and remove this. 
and then we could enter our new individual ID here, or we can use the suggested one here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. All right. That's it for my demonstration. If you experience any issues with your match results, let us know in our community forum or check out our matching FAQ, which I'll link to in the video description. Thanks for watching.